It's uh, Monday the 2nd of June 2014, uh, back at St Mary's Findon and the organ is still in scaffolding, uh, but we're making progress and currently all the pipes have come out to be, uh, and have been cleaned, and so they're all down the north aisle. And we've got here um, Edmund Holmes, the organ builder, and John Norman having a look at the pipes to note the historical interest within the pipes. So the pipes we're just looking at are the 12th on the um, grate, uh, noting down any particular features. John, would you be able to say what you're doing? I'm doing this for yes, this video blog. Well, <coughs> we are identifying which pipes are original, and by looking at the marks, we have already identified the fact that the pipes are certainly by Father Smith. Yeah, uh, which is great news, I yes. suppose. Yes, because there was a question mark whether it was Schrader or yeah, well, Smith. There is there. no question. Because the marks are exactly the same as the Smith organ in Great St Mary's, Cambridge. Um, uh, and uh, obviously there are individual pipes that are not original, like the bottom C sharps. Yes. And some of the top notes. But by and large, um, and the pipes have not been transposed, they're still speaking the same notes that they did 200 odd, 300, 300 years, years ago. ago. Yeah, fantastic. So what specific marks you, would you be looking at to know that they're Smith? But basically, uh, there is a mark on both the foot and on the body of the note, and you can the style of writing of which those marks are yeah. is characteristic. And the marks of the Great St Mary are known and have been published. Okay. And so I can compare them with this. Okay, yes. And they're the same. Great, that's, that's good. Excellent. Super. So you're doing the 12th now, and you're we, doing that... We, we looked at the open, we looked at the principle, we're doing the 12th. Right. We're working our way through. And you work through all the Smith yes. pipe I'm work. I'm also taking the scales uh, and the cut-ups, which is the height of the mouth, uh, so that we can establish what his normal working practice was. Okay. Yeah. And that, uh, I would expect, will become the subject of a, uh, of a in quotes, scholarly, unquote, paper... <laughs> yes, which will be all useful information for yes. people to know. Yeah, excellent. Great. Okay. Thank you. And the uh, pedal board has been restored as well, which is very exciting for the organist. You can see the additional uh, wood that's been added onto the top. It's the uh, horn. Swell reed the horn. So these have all been cleaned and they'll be put back in the organ fairly soon. So we're now upstairs in the, at the organ console uh, with Edmund who will tell us a bit about what's happened so far. <laughs> um, this last few days we've been reassembling the key action which um, starts from the top and then works, down, works its way down to the keys. Uh, from, there's these set of levers which operate the different manuals. Um, they're, held, they're, held, they're sort of located by um, a series of linkages from behind, which we can see from the, the different direction. Mm -hmm. um, but where the um, linkages come up from the keys, what we call the stickers, they go through a hole in the bottom there, which opens out into a slot at the top to allow a bit of movement. Um, they were extremely worn before, so we've had to splice in some little bits of wood, which you can just see on the side there. Perhaps see a slightly yeah. paler bit of wood there. Yeah. 
uh, so just as a hole drilled through it, whereas before it had a it had worn into a slot, so nothing was being located properly. So that was um, a very lengthy part of the job. So they link up with the three manuals, yes, those three so sections. Yes, they're all stickers and okay. wooden rods, which, wooden rods like that, which come all the way down to the keyboard. Uh huh. They go through a hole. Okay. Whereas before they could just move backwards and forwards quite freely, so nothing yeah. was located. Now, so they're just going through a small hole at the bottom, but it opens out into a slot at the top, so it can allow, allows a bit of movement as this goes through an arc as it moves. Right. So, yeah. so the whole thing will be a lot quieter and more responsive now. Yeah. So what's the next stage within? Uh, but there are some more here. linkages to go in. The um, quite the swell organ has link rods which go track we call trackers which go all the way to the back of the organ. Um, we can't put those in until we get the keyboards back, which we're still waiting for. Right. Um, probably the next thing we'll do is um, put the bellows back into the organ. Yeah. So the bellows are on the floor where the they, bench they, is. They sit, yes, they sit on this framework here. Yeah. Which is it's quite difficult to get those in, so obviously we don't want too much yeah. assembled otherwise. Yes, so, of breaking things. so they go over the scaffolding, yes. get winched up over the scaffolding and then over the balcony yeah. and in, which is a bit of a pain, <laughs> yes, so to say the least. Very difficult. Yeah. And you'd have you done something to one of the stops that we repaired this one of the stops? This is a stops? replacement stop knob, the original had been eaten away by mice or something. So we've used the original ivory and uh, turned a new knob to match the original. Gosh. These have yet to be pre-polished. Yeah, they're quite dirty still. But yeah. Cleaned up, so we have a similar finish to that eventually. Yeah. Super. Okay. Right thing. Thank you. Okay, so it's another part we've been repairing. Um, there again, the holes have worn into slots, so we've put the tough leather overlays on those, so it turns over so it opens up into a slot there. Oh, yeah. In fact that same width of slot went right through, so if you can imagine a, a wire going through that it would have no particular location, it could be yeah. within about five millimetres. That just accounts for the wear. Uh -huh. Those ones by contrast, you see that's how it should be, just yeah. a hole going through to a slot. They've not worn in that direction. Uh -huh. This is from the other side, looking the other way. All the levers you can see there, which are in a straight row, except for the odd one that's dropped down there. Mm -hmm. um, the levers are not inherently in a straight row, we actually have to adjust them like that. The, oh. the vertical trackers, as we call them, have threaded wires on the end and leather adjusting nuts, we have to wind each one up to exactly the right point to level the key action up. Right. And that's, that's the means of adjusting the keys. Yeah. And the, the levers have all been re-pivoted, they've got some cloth bushings in the middle where they pivot on the, on the bronze wire. So again, it's got rid of the slack. Yeah. Same here. Yeah. Excellent. So somehow the bat, the sorry, I get excited about the bellows and the major operation of the bellows. We we'll come over the scaffolding there, and then down and into the base of the organ, which is uh, tricky because they're so heavy. We need at least four people to do that. Right.